Raul Gonzalez Blanco was one of the best attackers of his generation and one of the best Spanish footballers of all time. A prolific goal scorer and a highly creative forward, Raul is regarded as one of the greatest and most consistent forwards of the 1990s. Ha dejado muy bien para Raul. Gol. Y el disparo de esta gol. Ahí está el segundo tanto del Real Madrid gol de Raul. Wearing the number seven shirt for most of his club and international career, he was capable of playing anywhere along the front line, although he was primarily deployed as a centre forward or as a supporting striker. He was a quick left-footed player who was capable of scoring both inside and outside the penalty area with accurate and powerful shots. He possessed excellent ball control and technical ability and was effective in the air as well. Although primarily renowned for his prolific goal scoring, Raul was also a highly creative and hard-working player, capable of creating chances, assisting, and was occasionally deployed as an attacking midfielder late on in his career. In addition to all these characteristics, Raul is remembered for his leadership and discipline. Throughout his extensive career, he never received a red card, and he was rarely booked. For his technical skills, elegance, goal scoring and overall performances, he was nicknamed El Ferrari by compatriot Fernando Hierro, another legendary Real Madrid player. In 2013, former England centre-back Rio Ferdinand praised Raul for his clever movement off the ball and his ability to exploit gaps or draw out defenders in order to create space for his teammates' runs, describing him as the most intelligent player he'd played against. Raúl was born in the San Cristobal de los Angeles neighbourhood of Madrid, where he played for the local youth team before moving to Atletico Madrid's youth team. Following Atletico's then-president Jesus Gil's decision to close their youth academy as a cost-saving measure, Raúl moved on to Real Madrid. He started his professional career in the 1994-95 season with Real Madrid C. Comes Michel with the penalty up against Diego. Oh, what a hit! 1 0. Fired it into the roof of the net. He scored 16 goals in just nine games, including five in one match against CD Coralejo, and was swiftly promoted to the first team by coach Jorge Valdano, replacing Emilio Butragueño in a symbolic passing of the crown. Raul became the youngest player at 17 years and 124 days ever to play for the senior side, although the record was broken by Alberto Rivera later that same season. Raul spent 16 years of his career playing for Real Madrid and is the club's second all-time top goalscorer with 323 goals and has the most appearances in the history of the club with 741. With Los Blancos, Raul won six La Liga titles, three Champions League titles, scoring in two finals, four Supercopa de España titles, one UEFA Super Cup, and two Intercontinental Cups. In 2003, he was appointed captain of the team and retained the position until he left in 2010. Raúl became the first player to score 50 Champions League goals when he scored in a 2-1 group stage win over Olympiacos in September 2005. It's his first goal since last April and it's got Real Madrid right back. And he was also the first to make 100 appearances in the competition. In total, Raúl scored 323 goals for Real Madrid, breaking the long-standing club record of Alfredo Di Stefano, who scored 307, with a volley goal against Sporting Gijón in February 2009. Yeah. Raúl finding the back of the net and Sporting Gijón on the back foot. He is presently fifth on the all-time list of La Liga goalscorers behind Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, Telmo Sara and Hugo Sánchez. In 2010, after 16 seasons in Madrid, Raúl signed with Schalke. Buenas tardes a todos. Muchísimas gracias. En primer lugar, eh, quiero... Where he won a DFB Pokal and DFL Super Cup before signing for Qatari club Al Saad in 2012. Pero, eh, poder ayudar a... Again, I say thanks to Qatar and I hope that I will be able to share in the following seasons all my experience. Where he won the league and the Emir of Qatar Cup. He ended his career with New York Cosmos in 2015. The cross from Restrepo, who up until that point was absolutely outstanding. Of course, Raul doesn't need an invitation like this one from three. After winning a domestic treble. 
Raul is also the highest Spanish scorer in European leagues with 256 goals, scoring 228 goals in La Liga. and 28 in the Bundesliga. He also has the third most appearances in the history of La Liga, 550 matches. He is the fifth highest goal scorer in Champions League history with 71 goals and has played the fifth most games. He has also played a thousand matches in his career, one of only 18 players to have done so. Although he didn't win any major competitions while playing for Spain, he scored a then-record 44 goals in 102 appearances for La Roja. Appearing in three World Cups and two European Championships. Raul was named the top international goalscorer in the world by the International Federation of Football History and Statistics in 1999 and ranked second in the 2001 Ballon d'Or and third in the FIFA World Player of the Year that same year. In 2004, he was unsurprisingly named in the FIFA 100, the list of the world's greatest living players, and was included in the UEFA list of the 50 best European players between 1954 and 2004. He was part of the European Team of the Year of European Sports Media in 1997, 99, and 2000. He won two Pichichi trophies in 99 and 2001, the top goalscorer award in the UEFA Champions League in 2000 and 2001, five Don Ballon awards, and one Best Player award at the Intercontinental Cup in 98. Since 2018, Raul has been involved as a coach in Real Madrid's youth academy, and it's expected that one day, not too long from now, he will take over the senior squad. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new videos. See you for the next one.